Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys more fall or holiday 2020 palettes and new launches. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I do product reviews on luxury beauty, skincare, and makeup. Occasionally, a luxury accessory review and very randomly snippets of my life in a vlog here and there. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button down below. I will deeply appreciate it. And the notification bell as well so you can be notified when I upload a new video. So in this video, you guys, I am sharing with you two new, two other new launches or new palettes for fall or holiday 2020 as well as what I have on my lip was, which is a Chanel holiday lip color that I chose to purchase. Now, it is very gray and overcast in Vancouver, so I am so sorry for my lighting right now. I can tell that I'm a bit looking... It's just like there's just a great overcast. So I do have some of my lights and I do have my ring light is actually behind me. So I don't, it doesn't look so dark. I am relying mostly on natural light, which is the best light, at least for me in my videos, especially in Vancouver. We usually have very, very good natural light, but it is now winter. So it always has this gray cast in the sky. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to begin with the Tom Ford Soleil Nage, Nage collection for holiday 2020 and their palette in, what is this called? First Frost 04. I'm sure you guys have seen this in other channels um, that have reviewed them. Michelle Wang and Angela Van Rose and I think Ali. But I've had them for quite a while. I just haven't really. I think I showed this on my last video for my fall picks. And these are the colors. So I'm just going to share with you guys the swatches and also what I think of this palette. So as you can see, it's a very neutral, almost very light toned, cool toned palette. And I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Now, you guys, you better remember it's called First Frost, so it is, it tr truly has that very frost look. So those are the swatches over there. They're very, very pretty. I initially wanted to grab this palette because it just seemed pretty like something you can use on the daily so and then I mean it was the finish of course you guys know that the quality of Tom Ford for me is tried and tested I do have a couple of their palettes and so I was just very excited to purchase this one especially because this is my first color quad with the white packaging I'm not so sure but I think there is a difference in the formula because the past ones that I've purchased, Double Indemnity, I think is another formula. I forget what it's called, but I think Tom Ford releases or improves on their palette or their quad formulas. I think this one definitely is a different formula from the past ones I've purchased. And I've used this a couple of times. Less than five, but still, I've tried it a couple of times. To be honest, I think this is the first Tom Ford palette that I felt a little underwhelmed with. And I think probably because I've expected so much. It's Tom Ford and I always get a certain punch of color or a certain kind of pigmentation. It's not over the top, but it's usually I feel like they're, I expected a bit more pigment. This one looks gorgeous when you swatch. I mean, there's no fallout, so the quality is still good, but when you put it on your lids, it's just very faint. It's a whisper or a hint of color versus my other Tom Ford palettes, which is straight up the color in the pan. So I'm not so sure if I was expecting a lot more because in the other palettes where I have a sheen, I literally need very little. And 
and you would see the color. So this one I think is a bit more on the sheer pigment side which I think is probably in line with the branding of the Soleil Blanc or all their limited edition products in the range that has the white packaging even their lipsticks or their sheer lip colors or sheer lip balms are all in the white packaging so it's a bit more on the sheer side so I would say I guess I expected something different but the quality is still good but will I repurchase it no I think it's just it's almost like you don't really see anything if that's really the look that you want um, I guess it's it's still pretty but I I wasn't really wowed by it in fact I had thoughts of returning it actually after the first few tries now the second one I want to talk about is what I have on my eyes which is absolutely gorgeous you guys and this one I just picked up yesterday as you guys know they had the um, the 20 per the Sephora sale VIB Rouge 20% for the longest time and I'm a Rouge so usually I get first access but honestly I don't need anything anymore I have so much of so many things that I never run to Sephora to do any big hauls as if you guys see in my channel and as I've shared in my past videos when I purchase something it's very well thought out of uh, thought out thought off and I think of what I have versus how beautiful the product is because most of the time I have the the formula just in different colors I have that color story so I very rarely jump or run to Sephora to purchase during a VIB Rouge. It's only if I do want to try something new. And this is one of them. This is one of the quads from Makeup by Mario. I didn't purchase when it first launched. They had those bigger palettes. But nothing really interested me or piqued my curiosity. Except when I saw this color story and I thought this is so gorgeous. I think this is something that looks like You can wear it on a daily, but still it's a bit more unique than just a neutral palette This is their quad in rosy glam makeup by Mario. It's actually what I have on right now you guys Look at this Look at this and the quality and the price point I will put the links of all these products down below as well. If you guys are interested, they will be my affiliate links. So if you want to purchase through them, um, thank you. But I will put all the information down below. So let me swatch this. Now, I did not use all the colors in this quad yet, but just the three that I've used. I mean, look at the eye look that I've made. And you can do even bolder, deeper, smoky eyes. I love how the quality is... The pigmentation is, I mean, and the quality of the pal the Wow. I guess the purple one is like a duochrome. I didn't even know that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the bottom two. I don't know why I swatch it this way, you guys. But I'm going to do the brown again because I didn't do that well at all. There's a beautiful mid-tone matte brown, which is like a gorgeous transition color and a gorgeous like tying in together of all the colors, as you can see here. So I didn't use this deep purple in this look today, but... Um, let me try to zoom in okay so we are zoomed in so this is the makeup by mario rosy glad palette wow that's such a nice thumbnail so you can see how just beautiful the colors are the pigmentation is amazing let me zoom out again so the pigmentation i am very happy with now for this silvery color which is this one here this is this one has fallout so i see some f specks even in my cheeks right now even after i've put concealer there's very very fine small specks which 
you know, it's not a deal breaker for me because the rest of the colors with deeper pigment were not messy at all. They all blended very well. You needed very little and the pigmentation was there. And also the colors didn't just like muddle with each other. Like you can see distinction, you can see the color range. You can actually point out the colors that I've used. This retails for I think 38 Canadian. I'm not so sure, but it'll be down below. Very, very, very impressed. Again, this is another Sephora in-house label brand, so exclusive to Sephora. And lately with the quality of Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez and this, I'm absolutely floored it is so gorgeous you guys and the price points they're putting it in is really reasonable for the quality that you get so i highly recommend this pop this quad i i haven't tried any of the bigger palettes or with the numerous shades but this one definitely highly recommend now the last product i want to share with you guys is from Chanel and it's the lip color that I have and this is from their holiday 2020 collection which I, I don't know what it's called I'm sorry you guys but this is one of the Rouge Allure lipsticks Rouge Allure luminous intense lip color I did not layer it with anything else I just primed my lip with some Laneige lip balm which is really clear and I have no lip gloss or lip topper as well so this is the packaging it's the rouge allure intense 107 in or beige that is the shade name this is how the packaging looks like it's one of the chanel products that you push you push from the bottom oh sorry this is the bottom the other way around to release it and this is how it looks this is so my color type or color range and there it is it's like a it's not pink it's like a peach beige a deep peach beige which i absolutely love formula is very good i like the formula i like the pigmentation it's called intense so i guess it's more pigment but I knew it was going to be a very good everyday lip sticker, even for a smoky eye, but without washing me out. So you can see it looks very neutral. It looks very nude, but in a good way, like not wash me out kind of way. So that is the Chanel Rouge Allure Intense in 107 OR Beige. I really like this if you are maybe the skin tone as i am medium with a yellow undertone with between like a mac and c30 or a dr2021 or two neutral or two w this is just a gonna be a beautiful beyond season it's not just a holiday lip color but i think a very wearable staple especially for a smoky eye look so i highly recommend this one as well so that is it you guys that is my share for this video on the three new holiday stuff from tom ford from tom ford from makeup by mario and from chanel and i hope you guys found this video interesting and informative please if you haven't spread press the subscribe button you can press it down below and the notification bell as well thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions just leave it down below and all the information will be in the information box as well of the products that I've discussed here or mentioned here and as well as what I'm wearing on my face right now. Um, so that is it you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.